I just got me some crab legs. Another video, yes, 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 and I'm here with a mukbang, honey. Um, I just got me some crab legs. That's it right there. But anyway, I um, I've been really craving crab legs, so I went ahead and ordered me some. I went ahead and ordered me some from. I can't think of this place. I ordered it off DoorDash. But I really been craving them. I really been craving them. So uh, they got this tight. A little too tight for me. Alright. So I really, really been craving crab legs. I had to order me some. I can't leave the house, so. You can tell they unprofessional. First of all, they didn't give me no. They didn't give me no. The bag don't got no name on it, honey. This was all that was in there. No menu or nothing. But anyway, I'm finna dig into this. Amen and amen. Okay, so I did want to do a cute and a. I did want to do a Q and a. Hold on, I gotta eat a little bit. Anyway, I did want to do a Q&A, but I changed my mind, so I'm just going to do like a little, a little, um, I don't want to say about me, I ain't going to say about me, I'm going to say like a, Anyway, hold on. Anyway, I'm not going to say about me, but I am going to be talking. I am going to be talking about myself, which is basically the same thing. So, before I get into it, I just want to say, if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And follow me on all my social media. I'm gonna have my Instagram probably right here down below. But I am I am gonna have everything else in the description box. But um, like I was saying, 
and hit that bell notification button so you can get notified when I post new videos. Yes, yes, yes. Which is basically the same thing. So, before I get into it, I just want to say, if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And follow me on all my social media. I'm going to have my Instagram probably right here down below. But I am, I am going to have everything else in the description box. But... Um, like I was saying, and hit that bell notification button so you could get notified when I post new videos. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, I'm so greedy. I just want to vegan my food. But, um, pretty much, this is going to be just me rambling and talking while I'm eating. Because this quarantine thing... This shit is driving me crazy. And when I say crazy, I mean real deal crazy. I don't consider myself a homebody. At all. I don't consider myself... Well, I, I do be in the house most of the time. But I don't want to say I'm a homebody. Like, no. I'm sorry, y'all just don't know how much I've been craving this. Anyway, I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say I'm a homebody. Certain, after a certain amount of time, I'll be ready to be out and about. I'd be ready to hit the street something for real, for real. And I can't do that. I can't do that at all. It's like I'm on punishment. It's like I'm on this punishment that I shouldn't even be on. Oh. It's like I'm on this punishment and I ain't even do shit. Anyway, let me get into it. So I'm pretty much gonna be telling y'all um, about my move to Atlanta. This was going on in my life, even though it's not really much going on in my life. What I be doing during quarantine, shit like that, why I moved. Cause Cause I just need something to talk about. Why y'all watch me? But okay. So I got fucking crab meat in my hair. Well, one of them fell. Okay, I'm back. Now, these people done fucked my order up. No, nobody want to fix it. That's why I has. That's why I stopped eating. But did nobody want to fix my order? Um, people making me seem like I'm crazy. Don't phone. act like I'm fucking crazy. On the phone, because they fucked up my order. I paid forty dollars for some. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Shit. I'm gonna eat it anyway, cause I said I was gonna do this video. But I've been trying to get people on the phone about my order, and it's fucked up. And it's 
I'm gonna let y'all know it's the it's the captain's boil the captain's boil um on DoorDash and it's really Ruby Tuesday it's not even as a separate restaurant it's it's Ruby Tuesday and they said they sell out their kitchen but yeah, they fucked up my order. I'm gonna finish eating these crab legs though, cause I'm I'm finna finish what I started. Okay, but I'm not recommending this shit to nobody, like nobody at all, cause this shit is ridiculous. But like I was saying, I said um, where I was at? I said I was gonna tell y'all about my move and pretty much what's going on in life. And what's going on with me. If y'all want a Q&A though. Y'all could just let me know. Send me some questions. Comment some questions. Or some stuff y'all want to know. And I'll answer them in another video. But. Yeah. So. Um, what's been going on with me lately. I recently moved. I moved from. Oh shit. I moved from Augusta, Georgia. I just recently relocated to Atlanta, Georgia um, for so many reasons. So many reasons. And I felt like I, since I've been here, I've been feeling really, really good about my move and about the decision I made because I feel like I have some stuff, some big blessings that's coming my way, honestly. But, um, I moved about two weeks ago. What a fine time to move, right? Um, moved up here. All this coronavirus shit ain't going on. Um, the reason I moved. Mm. is because I needed a fresh start like I needed a whole uh, like a, a new beginning um I had moved back to my city from I moved back to my city from college in 2017 and she just been stagnant like i work for a while um i end up moving into a place still working for a while then i'll go for a while without working then back to working again and you know just trying to make ends meet for myself because i had so much going on that it was like it wasn't a move so the last job i had in my city i had ended up losing the last job i had and basically losing everything like i lost my place i lost like literally everything um all the way down to my fucking dog I miss my baby so much. That, um, my dog, just pretty much everything. So, now I was at this point where it was like, what the fuck? Family wasn't on my side, basically. Um, really, just a lot of family issues, work issues, money issues. Don't don't have children, so it's not like I. I'm um I'm trying to I have anything holding me back pretty much not even in a relationship um so I don't really have anything holding me back but myself so I got tired of me holding myself back when I don't have like I'm seeing girls my age and I'm not jealous of anything 
I'm more so looking at it as motivation. Girls my age from my city, um, certified lash techs, hairstylists, celebrity stylists, like literally from the same city and from the same town I'm from. And, hmm, and you know, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm not going to say stuck, but, um, you know, I'm not putting my gift to to use i'm so gifted so i finally realized that and it was just like i gotta go and where's you know what better place is there to get my jump start in atlanta so um i decided to come here i hit up my aunt or whatever and was just basically finally reaching out for help like you know i'm just trying to get this shit right And she, you know, she was real, you know, like, that's good. You know, I don't mind you being here and stuff. So, of course, I packed this shit up and I moved, like, ASAP. But, um, I've been just pretty much trying to find a job here. Trying to find a job here with all this corona shit going on. It's possibly one of the hardest things in the fucking world because like nobody want to hire new people but everybody need everybody need you know new employees but everybody's skeptical hiring new people so it's been a battle trying to you know find another job but um i'm doing youtube now this really been something I've been saying that I wanted to do since I was like, since I was like 15. Um, and I always put it off. It will always be something, you know, making me be like, nah, that's not for me or nah, I shouldn't be doing it. But I really... I really got some goals that I set for myself this year that I feel like I need to reach. I want to be an entrepreneur and stuff. So it's like it was time to get on the ball and I had to make that move. Because once this corona shit over, it's time to get, get shit on and popping. And when I say on and popping, I mean on and popping, popping. Um barely had friends in my city the little friends i did have you know shit happens and then you have other friends or people that you know wasn't rooting for me jump and you just gotta let them people go no matter how much you support somebody how much you you know you on somebody's side if they're a jealous person if they're a spiteful person it's just you just can't deal with it no more you know so a lot of my friends I had to let go and not even some someone would just parted ways not even necessarily parting ways but being adults I have a responsibility caused us to you know drift apart so it's not like I had friends holding me back A social life holding me back nothing so i just definitely decided to make that move um but what else like i said i'm single i really haven't been looking for nobody or really wanting anybody look at me baby ass crab leg or really wanting anybody because my last nigga drained me like drain me and it's just been like and ever since then nothing's been working so that I just took that as a sign from God like focus on bettering you 
focus on yourself. I found out. Went back to my old, old nigga. He ended up, like, doing some fucked up shit that just made me be like, you know, this is why I was, you know, calling shit. I was pimping, okay? This is why for a while I went, like, I was pimping. So... I knew it was out of the equation for me. So it's really been like, just focus. Really been trying to get back on my focus and on my grind. I'm being motivated like how I used to. Because at one point in time, my mind was so strong. It's like focus, like you got to go, you got to reach. And I, I slept from all of that like I fell back from all of that and I just I gotta get back to being myself I let people drain me drain me I let people drain me for a long time and doing stuff for other people or doing stuff that people felt was right and not really doing stuff for myself which is which is also which is also draining but um so now i'm just really up here living um trying to get this just trying to wait for this corona shit to go by so i could really start getting into my stuff up here and becoming social and meeting new people and um clients and just different things like that because i haven't even been I haven't even been here a whole month yet and it's like you know got people on this wanting me to do their hair and stuff but you can't really you can't do that up here because Rona you're not finna get me baby girl I'm gonna just let that be known now like in this corona shit so fucking crazy like every day it's scaring me because it's making me it's making me feel like it's more to this it's making me feel like it's more to this than just a fucking virus it's something that's not being told to us just something like mm -hmm. And I just, I can't deal, honey. Ooh, I look like a whole fucking pig on here. But everybody know I'm fat anyway, so. But I'm just trying to get back into myself. And find, like, like I learned. Well, I ain't gonna say I learned. I'm pretty much teaching myself how to do nails while I'm in here, and just like comment some of the things y'all do, you know, to keep yourself busy in the house for a whole fucking 24 hours. Just let me know what y'all been doing, cause I really ain't been doing shit but eating, um, YouTube. I really need to get back into I need to not get back into but I need to get into um into working out. My auntie put the elliptical downstairs and I still haven't used that shit since I've been here and that was two weeks ago. Make me a whole schedule of what to do throughout the day because I just be eating willy nilly, sleeping all crazy. And just, ha <laughs> As fuck. Putting in jobs like crazy. But, I'm really, really, really. 
I'm just trying to find myself again. So I could bloom into the person that I know that I am. Because I got all these people around me. People trying to make me seem like the worst person in the world. People that hate me. Jealousy. Just all kind of stuff. And I'm just... I just want to stray away from all that. So. And I'm really, I'm learning a lot about myself. My best friend, this bitch called me a narcissist. <laughs> a narcissist, a narcissist, narcissist. I can't even pronounce it right. But that kind of made me be like, hold on. Because, like, she never, she never, me and my best friend, we argue, but she made me realize, like, yeah. Like, it's just some stuff, like, I just got to change about myself. But I'm human. Like everybody else. So, uh, it's really... It's gonna come together. Everything gonna come together. I'm gonna come together. I just been falling out over the place. And then, I'm trying to pull myself out of a dark place. It's a lot. It's a lot. Especially when, you know, I don't know. When you just trying to do it and get this shit, like, just done. Like, make this shit happen because i'm i just want to be a new me i want to be a new i'm not gonna say person but i just want to get back to some of my old ways you know because i used to be very happy like and then i fell into like a depression and it just caused me to like hate being around people and stuff so that's another reason why i'm glad i'm here i can get back into being social being you know not such a mean person not you know like a i'm not gonna say i'm, I'm not evil or anything but you know what i'm getting at like just a new me like just new person but enough of my rambling even though I wasn't really talking about nothing I just want to say thank you for watching my video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see me do more mukbangs if you want to see me do a Q&A give it a thumbs up or comment and let me know below also follow all of my social media it will be in the description box and I want to say thank you again for watching.